Okay, hi, this is Blender TUT um, with my first tutorial. We are going to be making a circle. That's magic. You saw it at the beginning of this video. So let's get going. Um, first thing you want to do is we're going to go into top view. Since I'm on a laptop, um, I my keys are kind of screwed up, and yes, I do have them emulated, but when I do it, it kind of makes my scene disappear, which is kind of screwed up. So I just go like this and go to top. Then you'll see you have your entire scene right here. Now what you want to do is you want to click add or you can click shift A and you want to click curve, add mesh or curve, add and then circle. So we are going to scale this circle up to right about there. Now you can just put that like there. Now we're going to click add mesh. UV spear, and we'll turn the link, um, rings and segments down so that it's ra a rather low poly thing so that it's easier on rendering. And then I'm pretty sure you can just leave it right here. So let's add a modifier. Nope, not a modifier. My bad. Sorry. Um, constraint always make that mistake click follow path and just choose the bizarre circle and as you'll see it'll you won't have any animation but you can do this two ways the first way um, will ne not always work it only work if you have a circle which is by changing uh, clicking follow curve and checking the fixed position so if we do that now then you turn the offset it'll go like that um, the second way is if you go click here, click this button, which is a new button, which is like has a curve instead of um, I don't know what it was before. Then you go to path animation and evaluation time, and you can do it like that too. That's how you will do it with an actual um, more complicated thing, which we'll get to in the future. But for now, I will be using the offset just because it's easier and it's more precise. Because when you're just doing a circle, finding the evaluation time of this entire thing can take a couple of seconds, minutes, or whatever. And I already, and for this circle, I already know that the evaluation time would be this bar up, which is nice. So we need to. Add, go to frame one and add a keyframe by clicking I over the box and you'll see it turns yellow now when you want this thing to turn all the way around so this is the first keyframe which is just telling it there so where when you want the keyframe when you want it to go all the way back and around and come back to this position that's where you want to put so I'll do 90 frames and then I'll um, turn this all the way up and I'll click I again and now we have two keyframes now if we click alt A to play our animation we have this thing as you can see it um, change this to 100 really quick it does um, it does speed up as you can see because it's trying to emulate gravity and everything else. I won't mess with this right now because I'm trying to get this done quick. But anyway, that's how you would do that. Now, we're just going to scale this down to about that size. And now it'll still go. So let's go to frame one. Um, go to the particle systems tab and attach a particle system. Um, do about 3,500 start one and we want to end this since our animation is 100 frames we want to end but we have the end at 900 we want to end this at not 90 sorry I said 900 it's at 90 my bad first tutorial you want to put the lifetime above what you have so we can just do 200 since that is above for what I did so the circle sticks or if you want to make it fade out like I did in the part you can put the lifetime less, so you want to put it at about 90, and then you'll increase the ending. I'll do that in a second, too. 
So now when you um, play this by clicking Alt A, as you can see, all of the particles just fall down, which can be a pretty cool effect by making like a spiral or whatever. But this is not the effect we're looking for. We just want to make to make it very basic circle. So how you do this is you go down to the field weights tab and you want to turn the gravity off. Um, another way you can do this is by lowering the normal, which kind of condenses it, so we won't go this over this. So you have to play with more settings, but now, as you can see, it'll just expand outward and make the circle. Um, now let's get to adding the texture. Oh, you want to turn emitter off. Sorry about that. Something you want to do. Let's get to adding the material. So go to the materials tab, click new material, click halo. Go to the textures, new texture. Go to what I used for the previous video was magic. I increased the depth to about, I did three. And then I turned the blue up. I clicked this like to two. Now we'll go to the materials tab. As you can see, if we click textured, see, as you can see, it's really all over the place. So if you click textured, it'll texture this according to that. You can just mess with these settings yourself. But um, I would turn this down to about 0.35, just so they're smaller. All the rest you can don't have to mess with. So now if we go like this, grab our camera. Just go to location zero. Get this right in the middle so that it's all ready for everything there. Now we can just say it on the Z axis and we can scale this up to about 40. Now if you go to your um, view camera, it's maybe not enough. Just go to 44. Um, okay, so 45. 45 there 45 whatever now we can render this go to the render tab or click F12 and as you can see that's what it looks like if we um, click on our ring here and change the materials tab to not textured and render this it'll look like this so like I'm saying it's really just about what your preference is now let's get to the fade out effect on the back end so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here um, now you have this it's following the curve and everything so now we want to make it ending so we're gonna increase the frame rate to about 300 which should do it whoa what just happened there 300 click enter and now you want to change you want to go to the particles tab and you want to go up to the top here where it says lifetime and you want to change the lifetime to 90 which is if you remember is where we put our keyframe so right when it hits this it will start to fade out and the reason why it's doing this is because we haven't played it so let's go ahead and play this now everything is going according to plan and it starts to fade out just like that so as you can see the frames probably so let's just change this to one one eighty five there and now this is your entire animation it will go around the circle and fade out so yeah you can put whatever texture that's just how you do it Alright, well, bye.